We're sticking with the facts, not fear. So let's take a look at something on a lot of people's minds, COVID testing across the state. According to the Department of Health, nearly 9,900 people have been tested in commercial and public health labs combined. And for more than a week, many of you have been calling, emailing and commenting, asking us about the state of COVID-19 testing in Macon. We want to be transparent. We're working to get you those answers, but so far it has not been easy. Zach Merchant is live in front of the Medical Center in Avacent Health to explain. Yeah, Lori, this is Macon's largest hospital and one of the biggest trauma centers in the state. As we all know by now, or at least most of us, the State Department of Public Health is releasing the number of confirmed cases at the state level and at the county level fairly frequently. But it's also important to understand what is going on at individual hospitals. How many people have been tested right here? How many of those tests have come back positive? How many of those people have been admitted and are taking up beds? So far, the DPH is not publicly releasing that information. So we took those questions directly to the leaders here at Medical Center Navison Health. They declined to answer. Hospitals around the state have released COVID-19 testing data without hesitating. Coliseum Health System and Fairview Park Hospital both told us when we asked. Phoebe Putney Health System in Albany, where they're treating more than 100 COVID-19 patients and running low on essential supplies, voluntarily posts that information on their website every day. Their CEO even jumped on a FaceTime interview with a blunt assessment of their situation when we asked for comment. You know, we've got about five, five and a half days of, N9, of N95 masks uh, left at our current burn rate. Uh, we're burning more than 2,500 Day. Navicent Health took a much less transparent approach. We asked how many people they've tested for COVID-19, how many of those results were negative and positive, and how many people are now hospitalized there. Navicent Health's emailed response answered none of those questions. They wrote, quote, we are committed to protecting the privacy of all patients who have been tested for COVID-19, whether or not the test results are positive. As these patients recover and return to society, we want to ensure they are not stigmatized. Navison's response did not explain how releasing anonymous statistics on the virus outbreak could stigmatize unidentified patients. And we want to be clear, at no point did 13 WMAZ ever ask for any identifying information on individual patients. Federal privacy law does not prevent hospitals from releasing numbers on various procedures or reportable diseases like COVID-19, just as law enforcement agencies release totals of rapes or other crimes without identifying the victims. Navicent can release this information, Lori. They're just choosing not to. Live in Macon, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Zach. Navison did answer a few non-testing related questions, at least in part. They said the hospital system has over 100 ICU beds available and are postponing some elective surgeries in an effort to conserve protective gear. To read their full statement, you can find this story on our website, 13WMAZ.com.